Okay, going over the setup for a symbol wireless card. Now, you will have already hopefully installed the driver, and once you've uh, installed the driver, you need to uh, go into Start, Settings, Connections, Connections again. We'll go to Tasks, or our, actually, we're sorry, we're already on Tasks. Click on Set Up My Proxy Server and just make sure that this first box is checked and that only that box is checked. Then we can click OK. Now we can go to Advanced and click on Select Networks. You want to make sure that this first box here is set to My Work Network. And that's all you got to do. Uh, you don't have to change anything else here. And click OK. And click OK again and cl uh, X out of that, close it out. Now with uh, symbol, they give you this little icon in the corner. You can just click on it and that will bring up the rest of your configuration requirements. And then you want to click on WLAN profiles and if you already have a profile in here, you can click on it. <coughs> Excuse me. If you don't have one, you can click on new but more than likely you will, so I'm going to click on Linksys <coughs> and click on Edit. Okay, now, if there's no nothing in this box here, ESSID, you need to fill it in. <coughs> it's called the ESSID, some people call it just SSID, some people call it the network name. If you don't have it, you need to get it from your uh, router people, router manufacturer. The operating mode will be infrastructure, country of course the United States. <clears throat> Next we want to go to encryption. Now one of two things is going to be true. You're either going to have an open system with no security enabled or you're going to have an system with security, which will either be WEP or it'll be WPA. 99% of people use WEP, so let's click on that. And what happens here is it gives you some little boxes where you need to fill out something called a WEP key. Now, a WEP key is basically a numeric password. It's a password made of special kinds of numbers. <coughs> Again, if you don't have it, you're going to have to get it from your probably your router manufacturer or you can watch our video on setting up your router and that uh, will show you uh, in some cases how you can get your web password without having to call the router people. But uh, web keys are going to be either 40-bit or 128-bit and you will fill these boxes in based on which type of key you have. And when you're done, you click OK. And if you've done it cor uh, correctly, you can click on, oops, didn't mean to do that, sorry. If you have done it correctly, let me see, let me get out of this. And click here to get rid of my little keyboard. Connect. And click OK. And looks like I haven't done it correctly, so I need to go back in here. Uh, Linksys edit. And probably I left the encryption. Uh, that's I did. I have an open system, so I need to leave it to uh, as an open system or change it back to an open system. Now what's going to happen in just a second, you may have seen it, these two little arrows here changed from having an X to, to, to having uh, just the two arrows. That means it is transmitting and receiving. Now I can go uh, to Internet Explorer and I can choose a uh, web page and as you can see it loaded that web page so I have made my connection. So that's the uh, the deal on how you set up your uh, wireless card. Um, it Your machine will come already set up for an open network. 
So you will have very little to do unless you have uh, security enabled on your machine. Thank you very much.